Evening at first at six, the aftermath of that freeway fireball on I-94. We are learning more about the incredible stories of survival and the heroics of the tanker truck driver after he escaped his burning rig. And here's a look from Chopper 7 at the scene. At this hour, where crews continue to try to clean up the mess that's left on the road below. 7 Action News first on the air and online as it all unfolded. And we have Team 7 coverage of all the latest, starting with Kimberly Craig. She's live in Dearborn for us. Kim? Well, Carolyn, the vehicles have been hauled away, but it's still too soon to tell when eastbound 94 will reopen. It's still closed between the Southfield Freeway and the Wyoming exit because of pavement damage you can clearly see. Now, this happened when three vehicles were involved in a fiery crash and one car wound up on the westbound lanes. He said the car cut him off. It happened on I-94 near the Wyoming exit. The man driving the tanker when the explosions began is Ron Thomas. He was driving thousands of gallons of fuel when something happened. He may have hit the median barrier. He told his brother another driver cut him off. One car ended up right in front of his rig. And despite having minor burns himself, he jumped into action. Told me he was able to get out of the burning truck and save the guy's life. A number of people in the area began taking video with their cell phones. One witness says he saw a frightened woman getting out of one of the two cars involved. She was scared, and I mean, I saw it, you know, from her face. I mean, she was crying and scared and trying to like to grab anybody's phone so she can call her mom. The explosion, smoke, and fire could be seen for miles as Dearborn firefighters battled the fuel-driven blaze. Crews from the Marathon Refinery and the Down River Mutual Aid Association brought in their foam trailers to assist. The foam is used to basically it coats uh, the flammable liquid and, cover, and covers it so it can't uh, oxygen can't get to the um, fuel to keep burning. So when once we had the foam started getting that onto the fire, we, we got it extinguished pretty quickly. So. When there's a lot to investigate for us, it's not simply just the roadway, but it's also the barrier wall to see if that if the uh, Freeway light right there has been compromised in any way, uh, and just to see what type of damage we're looking at and if we can safely open this. Where do you guys go from here? Well, what we're going to look at now is we're going to try to piece it back together. Unfortunately, with the amount of damage that's done to some of these vehicles and to the semi truck, uh, it may be hard to ever really tell what happened out here. So usually we'll give people a couple of minutes just to kind of get their thoughts together, see if they remember something particular, and then once they go from that aspect, then we'll kind of see if we can put it back together. And MDOT says because there is significant pavement damage, it is still too soon to tell when eastbound 94 between the Southfield Freeway and Wyoming will reopen. So stay with Action News for updates. And Carolyn and Stephen, I'm told it could still be closed for at least much of tomorrow and possibly longer. So it's real important that people stay updated for the latest information. Back to you. You're so right about that, Kim, because it's concrete. They may be able to lay something over it, but uh, they, they just don't it. know. All right, thanks, Kim. It's hard to say. Mm -hmm.